Henry, hi! How's tricks, boss? Wait, why are you yelling at me? Who are the season five fetchers? What? Beats me, I haven't started looking yet. Heck, I haven't even swept up the confetti from the end of season four. Or made the season five guacamole sculpture. Nope, I'm just kicking back, cause, you know, I mean, I've got months till season five begins. What? Season five begins today? Oh, you want me to find six fetches immediately? But Henry, boss, there's, there's like 3,000 applications I've got to go through here. It, it takes months. Find six fetchers in the next 30 minutes or fetch goes off the air forever. Uh, gotcha. We're in trouble, people. Uh, chat, get off the chat. Ah! Yeah. Okay, anyone have some chips? Life was missing its mystique. My squeaky toys had lost their squeak. And then, out of the blue, I saw the phone, and bam! My destiny was calling me. Pitched my vision for a show. They loved it, thought I was a pro. They got my contract back to find, to their alarm, a dog had signed. Oh, I like that name. I didn't wait to renovate, found six contestants, all were great. And now I'm on the road to fame, I've got a game show and its name is... It's very catchy. It rolls off the tongue. I'm Blossom, wanna make sure it checks okay? And here come the contestants now! His favorite hobby is drooling. It's the Sultan of Saliva. Okay. He doesn't wear pants. He just pants. It's tank. He calls himself a bulldog, but... Uh, hold that pose, Tank. Everybody hold it. I gotta answer the hotline. Henry, hi. What's shaking, boss? Why is Tank the only contestant? Uh, well, sir, seeing as I'm so far behind, I... How'd I get so behind in my fetch duties? Ah, do I have a story for you, sir? Last season, it just ended when suddenly Grandma's parrot, Jerry Geranium, flew in the window. Alive! Alive! What? Who is? Mom and Pop! Alive! Alive! Ah! Mom and Pop are alive? If Jerry knew where my long-lost parents were, I had to find out all I could. Where are my parents? Where are my parents? No, no, no. Where are my parents? What? Where are my parents? No, not your parents. My parents. My parents. Oh, my parents. Not now, Blossom. Jerry's about to reveal all. What's that? 43, 21, 38. Hmm. Jerry, what do these numbers mean? What do these numbers mean? No, what do these... Where are my parents? Where are my pants? Where are my... Wait a minute. Are, are you saying pants? Where are my pants? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I lost track of time. But not to worry. I've got my crack team of felines, rodents, and, uh, Hank. Got them all on the job. Oh, just a moment, Henry. Blossom's got news. Apparently, Blossom and Chet have winnowed down the auditioners to 21 finalists. These finalists are standing by, all set for their final live home interview. So let's get going with, uh, Slim. Let's see, Slim likes milk. He's a tabby. Wait a minute, he's a cat? No, 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 no cats. Honestly, Blossom. Great, now we're down to 20 and still no fetchers. Well, how about, uh, Mark? Is, is he a cat? No? Good, let's try him. Welcome to my room. This is my fetch poster. Nice poster. These are my guinea pigs, Brownie and Dimple. Hello, Dimple. I like my desk. It's just right at my level. And then I have some books. Ooh, he's a reader, this one. This is my merengue trophy. Merengue? I'm going to show you some moves. You have to go like this. Merengue! And then... Caliente, that means hot. The roster likes it. Mucho gusto. When I grow up, I want to be a marketer, which means I'd like to um, take, like, this penguin, for instance, and market these and sell these. I've seen some of the commercials now, and they're very horrible, and I thought, I think I could do better. If I could design a commercial for Fetch, I would make it as it's all dark 
and you only see one person, and it's a dog. Right, good. And then he steps out of the darkness. I like it. And then you see all kinds of glimpses from the challenges, and he goes, this is the best show. Yeah. Hear that, Blossom? The best show. This guy has vision, and he's got the moves. Those are Fetcher qualities. Yes, we have found our first Fetcher. Chad, I want you to contact a really good limousine service. You know, something classy. Tell them they'll be picking up Mark and the other Fetchers when I choose them, okay? Uh, Chad, who's that? And what is he wearing? Ooh, a text message from uh, Chet the Mouse. Wants me to pick up some Fetchers. Okay, we're on our way. <laughs> What is that guy driving? I didn't ask for that. I said something classy. Okay, let's give Mark a call. Hello? Hey, Mark. Uh, please yes. put the cat down. Hey, it's Ruff Ruffman. Oh, hey, how's it going? I think you better sit down. I am about to make your day. Are you ready? Yeah. You're going to be on season five of Fetch. And now I need it. Hello? Hello? Mark? No way, no way! Really? Yes, really! That's the best! All right, go tell your parents and then head outside, okay? Okay. All right, don't bring the cat. Okay. I'm on chat with Ruff Ruffman. Oh, that's Yay. the Hey, kid, I got a call from Chet the Mouse. He told me to pick you up. Let me get the ladder down, you get on my duck. <laughs> I'm Sven the Viking. Nice. Up on my purple duck. Okay. okay, kids at home, if a Viking shows up at your doorstep, do me a favor. Just go back inside. So, Mark, when did you find out you're getting on this TV show? Uh, like five seconds ago. No kidding. Are you a good driver? I'm a great driver. Okay, one down, five to go. Let's see. Uh, no, that one's a bicycle. Uh, that one is William Shakespeare. Chet, did you pick these? I mean, they're totally... Uh, I don't know. I... Eeny, meeny, miny, Jay. Is Jay ready? Good. Let's try him. This is my special hangout room. I practice my guitar here. Yeah. And my keyboard. Plays guitar and keyboard. Here is my drum set. Yeah, drums too! Duff, you rock. You knock me off my socks. I do. You like Chinese food. Mushu. your eyebrows float above your head. Okay, that's getting a little personal. You are the coolest dog I know. It's true. And I love your show. Yeah, he loves my show. Woo! This is my dog, Lenny. Lenny. He's a pug. This is really all he does. He uh, what, he just breathes? He doesn't play with his toys for more than five minutes. You know, with Lenny on one side and Tank on the other, I could get panting in stereo. You know what? That cinches it. Anyone who could find the good things about that pug has a heart of a true fetcher. Where's the phone? Hello? Hello? Is this Jay? Yes. Oh, hi! It's Ruff Ruffman. Are you ready for some awesome news? Yes, 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 yes! You're gonna be on <laughs> Fetch Season 5! Oh my gosh! You ready to have an awesome <laughs> summer? The... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm hyperventilating. Okay, well, catch your breath and tell your mom and then head outside. Mom! I'm gonna be on Fetch! No, sir! Ruffman himself called me! <laughs> Where are we going? Well, we're going to pick up another kid. Whoa! Hey, are you Jay? Yeah. Mark and I are here to pick you up. This is unexpected. Oh, that's the understatement of the year. Chet, what have you done? Hi, Jay. Hop on my purple duck. Okay. Hey, are you a fetcher too? I'm Mark. Do you know where we're going? I really don't know. We've just been driving around town with this crazy Viking. Hey, Jay, have a seat with Mark here. Thank you. Oh, is that the mail? Did the new issue of It's Hot magazine arrive? They said they were going to feature Fetch on this month's cover. Hey, this isn't Fetch. Go get it! The hot new reality game show! Here are the feline hosts, Tom and Trixie, standing next to the Go Get It 6000, the most powerful game show computer on television! Wait a minute, they've just copied my Fetch 3000 and painted it pink! Hello, Ruff!
Puffy dear. Oh, listen, I have to tell you about this wonderful new show I've discovered. It's called Go Get It. Grandma, Go Get It is just a ripoff of Fetch. Oh, don't be silly. On Go Get It, they have six kids and they go out on challenges. And then they're awarded points during the triumphant total. What? Grandma? That is exactly like Fetch. I mean, you've seen my show, haven't you? Oh, uh, well, actually, not all the way through. Anyway, would it hurt to get some tips from Go Get It? Are you so proud? Well, I don't need any tips from a copycat cat show. Anyway, Grandma, did you know your parent flew in here saying my parents were alive? I mean, that's just rude. Oh, dear. Then it's time. The Great Reckoning has come. Did Jerry give you the coordinates? The what? What, what are you talking about? Oh, go get it, is on. I have to go, Ruffy. I don't want to miss it. Bye. Wait, don't go. I have questions. Okay, this is too much to handle, but we have to stay focused, Blossom. Who's next? What about Hans van Hoother? Only speaks Dutch. Oh, what about Emmy? Hey, isn't an Emmy a type of television award? <laughs> All right, let's give her a try. Is she ready to go? Excellent. Hi, my name's Emmy. I love the outdoors. I love going outside, I love hiking, I love animal tracking. That's one of my favorite things. And I also have this hat. That's an old hat. And I've worn it for four years, and it's been lost on a highway and lost in a lake, and pretty worn down, but I still wear it. Oh, I hear you, Emmy. I feel the same way about my chicken sombrero. This is Biscuit, and we got her when I was in third grade. Hello, Biscuit. Welcome to my room. So this is my whiteboard. That's where I write like everything I need to do that day. This is my bed and it's green and my sister has a pink one. I go up here a lot when I like read and when I go to bed and I have some stuffed animals down there. I have some posters here too um, to remind me of some of my favorite things. Look at all those pictures of dogs. That's a good sign. I love this room because it's surrounded by windows. I have an animal collection. More animals. And I've been collecting them since second grade. Let's see, she loves animals, loves being outside. She's really charming. She sounds to me like fetcher number three. Yeah, yesterday we got second place against the high schoolers. The telephone for you. Who is it? I don't know. Hello? Hi, uh, Emmy? Yeah. This is Ruff Ruffman. Oh, hi, Ruff Ruffman. Emmy, I've got some pretty good news. Yeah, what's good news? You're going to be on Fetch with Ruff Ruffman. What? You're going to be a Fetcher. Whoa, really? Really. Go tell your family and then head out the front door. Whoa, okay, awesome. That's so cool. Okay, I'm going. Okay, wait, bye. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Sir, sir, excuse me. We need to, we need to film Sorry, Emmy what? heading outside. We need to get out of the way. This is Ruff Ruffman, and I'm going to be on Fetch. <laughs> I love it when I bring joy to a family. Oh my gosh! Hey, are you Emmy? You're the oh, third fetcher. Oh. Well, the fetchers seem to like the transportation. I'm you? Sven the Viking. Come on on my purple duck. Oh, thank you. Are you the third fetcher? Yeah, did you guys get a call too? Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Jay. I'm Mark. Hey, I'm Emmy. Whoa, this is so awesome. Where do you think we're going? I don't know. You guys ready to go? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, here we go again with a horn. Two boys and one girl, so we still need one, one more boy and, and two, two more girls. girls. Life was dull and we were down. Our ball of yarn was all unwound. Saw the phone, thought that's a plus. Our destiny was calling us. Go get it. Yeah. With Tom and Trixie. I can't believe this. This is my it's song. The vision for a show. They loved it. Thought that we were pros. I've seen enough. Let's get back to finding fetchers. Well, how about that one? Rubi. Wait, Ruby, Rube. Wait, how do you pronounce that? Hi, I'm Ruby. R-U-B-Y-E. People call me a lot of different things. Ruby, Rubby, Rub-a-dub, Rubby, Rubi. But then I have a bunch of nicknames. Rubsy, Rubert, Rukanuba, Rubby, Rubers. This is my bird, Sky. Hello, Sky. If you bob your head. Uh huh. She'll bob your head with you. Let's try. Okay, I'm bobbing my head. Okay. I don't see it. <laughs> no. She won't do it now. So this is my room. I like to hang out and read on my futon. I have a lot of books on my bookshelf. And I'm also a collector. My main collections are dancing hamsters. Dancing things. hamsters? The fun things take me out to the ball game. And this is my dog, Emma. Hi, Emma. This is my desk. 
where I do my homework and I have my schedule. Over here I have a dollhouse which my mom built for me. Did you hear that, Blossom? Her mom built that dollhouse for her. Why, that's just like how my mom made this homemade rope bone for me. It was just before my parents disappeared. Oh, the good luck from Mom Balloon that was in my doghouse on the very first episode of Fetch? Yeah, well, um, I... I made it myself! Because I missed her! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Chet. I thought you were a tissue. Okay, no more crying. Ruby's bright, funny, and she loves her mother. That is good enough for me. I'm so sorry to interrupt. You got a phone call. I'm from, sorry. From just, who? You just have to take it. Sorry. Hello? Hello, Ruby? Yeah. Hi, it's Ruff Ruffman. Hi. Hey, I hope you're ready for some good news. I am ready for some good news. You are going to be a fetcher. Oh, my gosh, really? Yes, really. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so excited. Okay, go <laughs> tell your mom and head on out. I made it. <laughs> Bye. Say hi to Ruff. Yeah, I know, I know. Ruby! <laughs> Wait, they know each other? Are you Ruby? I am Ruby! Come on on my duck, come on in the back. Ruff, my best friend! What? Hi, nice to meet you. Spend the whole... Wow, we've never oh, had adventures who were best friends before. Hey! I'm Ruby. I'm Jay. And this is Mark. Hi. Hi. We've like known each other forever. Since kindergarten. Kindergarten. Yeah. Since friends then, and we oh, live like right next door. How cool is that? You. you guys ready to go? Yeah. 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 Henry, hi. Getting closer. We have four fetchers, and what? Are they as good as the go getters on Go Get It? Henry, Bobby, have I ever steered you wrong before? Well, yeah. Okay. Other than that time. All right, and that time. Okay, look, forget I asked. I'm gonna get cracking on those last two fetchers. Okay, who's left? That one is actually a watering can. That one is Noah's grandfather from season one. Hmm. Oh, what about Mark? Oh, we already have a Mark. Well, maybe he has a nickname, though, like Bob or Humperdinck or something. My name's Mark, but I sometimes like being called Marco. My grandmother said that's a more Italian name. Also, because my dad's name is Mark, so people, if they're calling me, usually just say Marco. That makes it easier for me. I can juggle. I haven't tried in a while, so I might be a little rusty if I try it again. But I'll give it a shot. Let's see it. Let's see it. I want to see you juggle. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the amazing Marco. Ready for some citrus juggling. Ow, ow. Take two. That, oh, oh, gravity. Maybe I should just uh, stick to eating it. Well, he eats better than he juggles. This is my room. This is like my computer. I like recently installed new things into my computer to make it better. This is my bed. I have my alarm clock here, and this is what gets me up for school in the morning. I like old music and classic rock. He digs music. I kind of like art and stuff. Like I have some cool kind of funky posters up. I study on my desk. I usually just uh, move the keyboard. There's no parking in my room. No, that would, yeah, that'd be weird. My dad is a construction worker. He was redoing um, this place and they were about to throw that away. And my dad was like, no, toss it my way. My son will have it hanging in his room. So now it's hanging in my room. I like doing plays too. I'm an actor. I got this from my first play. I ever did, they gave every kid a rose. Yeah. And this I kid's got to... skills. He's an actor, he can juggle, kind of. And he doesn't put up with parking in his room. Huh. What more could a game show host ask for? Chet, you send a message to Sven about Marco. Blossom, my phone. Oh, yeah. Hello? Hey, Marco! Yeah? It's Ruff. Hey, Ruff. I'd like to tell you something pretty incredible. What's that? You, my friend, are going to be on season five of Fetch! I'm gonna be on Fetch? Yes, you're gonna be on Fetch! Sweet, I'm so excited! Haha, <laughs> yeah, congratulations! I'm gonna go tell my parents. All right, tell your family and then head outside. I'm gonna be on Fetch! <laughs> congratulations! He told me to go outside, he told me to go outside. Howdy comes. And here comes Sven. The Viking. Hey, are you Marco? Yeah. I'm here to pick you up. All right. Come around the back. I'm Sven the Viking. Get on my purple duck. Hey, I'm, I'm Marco. Hi, Hi Emmy. Nice I'm to Ruby. meet you. This is 
Uh, I'm Jay. I'm Hey, Jay. Mark. Hey, you're the fifth fetcher. I am. Oh, you guys are on the show. Thank you. Okay, Blossom. Who's left? Spot Spotnik? My rival? Never in a million years, Spotnik. And that leaves... Glenn? He actually auditioned? No, computer wizards never audition. I hacked into your Fetch 3000 and replaced one of the auditioners with me. Aha! Glenn, that wasn't very nice. Well, what does being nice have to do with being a Fetcher? All the Fetchers are nice, and they play by the rules. Sorry, Glenn, but you're out. Oh, thwack. Now, uh, which auditioner did you replace? Oh, I don't know. Some girl named Shweya. Well, can you put her back, please? Oh, white. Well, I guess the silver whining is that now I won't miss any episodes of Go Get It! Signing on. Oh, I... Oh. Okay, Blossom. Let's see what Shreya's going to do for us. Wow, what is that cool thing? It's huge! Hi, I'm Shreya. This is Davina. Wow. I also sing with this. No. Wait, what? Then is the coolest TV show host in the world. I have now had two fetchers sing to me today. Never happened before. Come on, Ruff, let me show you my room. This is my loft bed, and it's really, really high up. This is my bookshelf, it's a mess. I got an award for getting honor roll. Nicely done. I collect rocks. I have my favorite rocks in this box. I collect dolls also, but collection's sort of small. Under here, this is where I work. These are my bangles. They're from India, and I have a lot of bangles. Let's see, she can play the Vina, she can open her own bangle store, and she thinks I'm cooler than Chinese food. According to my list of what makes a fetcher great, she's got it covered. Let's give her a call. Okay. She's in, okay. Hello? Hi, Shreya. Hi. Hey, it's Rob Rothman. Hi. Hey, you want to hear some really good news? Yeah. Really, really good news? Really, really good news? Shreya, you are going to be a Fetcher. Congratulations. Oh, my gosh. You serious? Yes, I'm totally serious. Okay, thank you. Okay, tell your family, and then I need you to go outside. Oh, okay, thanks, Rob. Bye. Well, are we going to fetch her down? Here comes Sven, again. Hey, are you Shreya? Yeah. You're supposed to be on our duck here with these other fetchers. Okay. Come I'll... around the back, I'll okay. let you on. Hi, Shreya, I'm Sven the Viking. Thank you. All Hi. right, we have all six Hi. fetchers. Hi, I'm Shreya. I'm Ruby. I'm Emmy. I'm Marco. I'm Jay. I'm Mark. So you got a call too from Ruff? Yeah. Ready to go? Yep. All right, on to Studio G. <laughs> That's right, Henry, we have all six fetchers. Thank you. Oh, I think it's going to be a great season, too. Woohoo! Chet, then Sven, the coordinates to bring the Fetchers to Studio G. Huh, I don't recognize that street. Wait a minute. Wait, why are they headed for the water? I just need them to go to Studio G. Okay, Fetchers, are you guys ready to go in the water? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, awesome! Call Sven! They shouldn't be going in the water! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I've never done this before. What is that? Stop! Through the water. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. What's happening? Hello? I've lost the fetchers. I've lost them. Oh, there they are. Woo! I thought I lost them. Whoa! Wait a minute. Hey, what's happening? Hello? Chat. What coordinates did you give Sven? You gave him the coordinates for Studio G, right? Henry, hi! Uh, yeah, bit of a snag. <laughs> On the way to Studio G, I, uh, I lost the fetchers. That's okay, sir. I've got my best people on it, so... No, please don't fire me, please don't! What's that, Blossom? You can see them again? Oh, good. Whoa, it's an island! Oh, Wait, oh, an island? 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Studio G's not on an island. Okay, this is it, guys. Wait, you got to get off here. Wait, guys, don't get off the boat. Is These are my coordinates. This is where you're supposed to go. Studio G's not on a deserted island. Sven, don't leave them there, man. Chat. Don't worry, guys. We'll find a way to get you back. I promise. Uh, see, Henry, I, I told you I'd find the fetches. <laughs> Hello? Henry? Oh, Blossom, what are we gonna do? Will Ruff find a way to rescue his fetchers, or will they be stranded forever? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in next time to Fetch with Ruff Ruffman. Or if you want quality programming, tune into the hottest show in town. Go get it. The reality game show that doesn't lose its contestants before the season even begins. Catch it on the Feline Network. Hey, you want to learn more about what you saw today? Oh my God. Let's dig a little deeper. Ever wonder what makes a duck boat float? Or how whales stay warm in Arctic waters? Or how birds know how to find their way home? Or even how the fetchers will find their way home. We've got so many amazing challenges this season. You've got to check them out. Okay, this is it, guys. And if you want to dig even deeper, go to pbskidsgo.org. Okay, one last thing. Not only do I host my own television show, but I have a fantastic website, too. Check it out! It's more fun than turning round and round in circles before a nap. PBSKidsGo.org